Right, so this is not a project about something successful I've done that I'm going to show off about. It's a successful, it's a pr presentation about something I'm trying to do and mostly failing. Um, okay, so who, who are you? Oh, I'm Ben Renoir. I work at uh, University of Southern California as a research engineer, but this is a fun hobby project. That's fine. Ben, carry on. Um, so we want to formally verify our hardware. At my last project, I worked on a work. There were some people doing formal verification. I thought it was really interesting. I kind of got bitten by the bug. And I'm trying to do it more, um, trying to learn how to do it myself. So the, what we can often see is people using things like Symbiosis or Jasper Gold, where you're kind of putting assertions in and you're trying to prove they're correct. This is a kind of different approach where you're not trying to verify the hardware, you're trying to verify the software that is kind of generating the circuits. So there's things like Kami or Koika or Kava, which are all uh, DSLs embedded in a rock. And there's another thing called uh, Boss2 that's worth uh, checking out. It's an open source thing that's uh, by a guy who came out of uh, Intel. Um, I find rock really difficult. I tried quite hard to learn it, um, but it's too hard for me. Uh, luckily, there is a kind of proof assistant for dummies, which I'm trying to use, called Daphne. There's a really nice uh, book called Program Proofs um, that kind of leads you through learning how to formally verify programs. It's nice because rather than something like rock, where you have to kind of explicitly prove it. It's got an SMT solver running in the background. So you just write a function. Uh, the function has preconditions and postconditions. The SMT solver is proving the postconditions from the preconditions. And then you're just trying to drop breadcrumbs for the SMT solver, like writing assert statements or proving lemmas to help it along the way. So it's just a much, much, well, I think the learning curve is much better than things like Rock or Isabel or Lean. I don't know that it's a better solution for someone who's an expert, but it's definitely a better solution for me. So this is an example here. I'm just an example of what a proof might look like here. I'm just trying to prove that I have a structure that represents a circuit. I have another structure, structure that represents a directed graph. I'm just trying to prove that my function that converts a circuit to a directed graph, if my circuit was valid according, you know, according to some function I've got, it produces a, di a directed graph that's valid. And I mean, it doesn't make sense. You only have to pay attention to what the uh, what the contents is, but I have kind of lemmas that I've defined somewhere else, and I'm really just dropping breadcrumbs for the SMT solver and helping the SMT solver to be able to prove that from this precondition. Um, so as an example of building a circuit, here I've got a, uh, a function that takes a circuit as input. It takes three uh, kind of outputs from other nodes in that circuit, and what it produces is a circuit and then two output nodes. So these correspond to the three input bits into a full adder, these are the two output bits. Um, and then the result is a circuit that just added that out of the So that's how it's uh, trying to work.